In this video, I'm going to show you how to build an accurate SEO forecast in less than five minutes. If you're an SEO agency for a or consultant, you don't want to miss this because simply running this analysis has helped us literally double our agency's proposal close rate from 20% to 40% because now we're able to show them exactly what they can expect as a result from working with us, which allows us to showcase ROI, which takes SEO as an expense that nobody wants to pay for to an investment that will pay itself back and more over time. So the first thing that we're gonna do is head over to trafficprojection.com. Just come over here to log in. Now, once you create an account and log in, you'll see this database here that has all the past projections that I run before in the past. I'm able to send this to clients if I want, but I'm gonna walk you through how to create a new one from scratch. Now you can see there's an intake form here. It allows you to put in the website that you wanna build projections for and then three competitors off the back of that. For context, our agency has a dedicated landing page that we run all of our conversions through. So instead of offering people a free proposal when they come to our website, we offer them a traffic projection analysis. This actually dramatically increases our conversion rate from our website too, because we're giving them something of value. Instead of saying, here's something that's gonna cost you money, it's saying, here's a report and some data that you can use to understand if SEO is really worth your time and how much money you're gonna make from engaging in it. So when they come to this landing page, they fill out this Calendly form here. And when they do that, I then have the competitors, they tell us what the competitors are. So this is what it looks like on the back end of Calendly. So we can see the website that we wanna analyze plus three competitors that they provided for us. So I'm just gonna take this, and copy it, and paste it over here, projection name, site, domain. Now this is a Canadian website, so I'm gonna connect the, choose the Canadian SERPs. Then we'll come back here and I'm just gonna paste over the competitors. Now, what if you don't have the competitors? What can you do? Well, what you can do is if you have, you can just figure out the keywords and the competitors based on what they're trying to target with their keywords. So for example here, this is long-term disability lawyers in Canada. I also know that they're in Toronto. So I'm gonna type in Toronto. And what I would do is I would look for the websites that they're competing against in Google. So here you can see a couple of competitors here. You could just grab these and it's important. We wanna find websites that are competing at the keyword level, not the business level. Meaning we wanna find websites that are competing for the same main keywords that we wanna target. So once you've identified what those websites are, we just click submit. Once we have that, you can see what it's doing is it's pulling in the last 12 months of traffic data from these four websites. Website we had in question, you can filter them to see them individually, compare them head to head. But once this looks good, then we go to filter keywords. So this screen here is where all the magic happens and where this tool really sets itself apart from the rest because what it does, it pulls in all four of the website's keywords into a database so we can see all the keywords, the domain name, the search volume, their current position, and then we can assign a target position to it. And the reason why this becomes so accurate is because we can go down at the keyword level and really hyper focus on the keywords that we wanna focus on for search to get buy-in from the prospect to show them these are the keywords that we would be targeting. And if we can do SEO and improve the keywords, this is what you can expect. So you'll notice here that there's three different scenarios. One is business as usual. This is saying, if you keep going on the same path that you went for the last 12 months over the next 12 months, this is what you can expect as either an increase or decrease in traffic. So you can see this website is actually losing traffic, which makes this even more powerful when we pitch this to them. Scenario two here is looking at if we were to take the keywords that you're currently ranking for and apply some basic projections to it, this is what you can expect. Then this is almost kind of like a total addressable market saying, based on the keywords that your competitors are ranking for, if we then apply those to your website, this is what your total traffic growth can expect. Now you'll notice here that these are both zeros and that's because we don't apply this logic until we actually go through. So if you hover over this button here, it says auto apply target positions. Basically, this is giving you some auto logic that will help to dramatically speed up this process so you don't have to go through every keyword one by one. So it's basically saying if keywords are in positions one through four, then we can move position one, five through nine to five, 10 through 20 to 10. And if it's above 20, let's just forget about it because it's too much to expect. Now, of course, you can go through and then fine tune this afterwards. So I'm just gonna click auto apply target positions and allow the tool to speed this up for me. So now you can see that these two scenarios are now filled in. And the way that these are built too is it uses click-through rate projections. So position five has a certain click-through rate based on volume. Position 10 has a certain click-through rate based on volume. Position one, et cetera, et cetera. So you can also hyper-focus on these scenarios if you want. Kind of fun to click on these different things but 
the reporting gets even better as we go through this. The next thing that we wanna do is we wanna really now focus on some manual cleansing of this list. So the first thing I wanna do here is I wanna apply the advanced filter target position. I wanna just remove anything that is filtered here for excluded. And the reason is because if it's excluded, we don't really need to pay attention to it. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna view this by 250. So this just opens it up now to allow me to do some more fast filtering of keywords. So what I also like to do is I'll filter by like branded to remove branded. So, you know, if this, for example, website has a large branded search, we wanna remove that because we don't need it. But these are already filtered by volume here now. So basically what I'm looking for is a couple things. One is I wanna just get rid of what keywords that are, I know are not relevant, right? So knowing what I know about this, anything short-term disability related, I wanna keep, but stuff like McKinsey Consulting Layoffs, these are what we call fluff keywords, right? I know for a fact that these are not gonna drive any sort of business value. So I'm just gonna go through, I'll leave these ones is cause this could be some good content that we could create, but anything very, very high level like this, we just wanna get rid of. And again, the reason is, is because they just don't drive any business value for the client. And I want to show them these keywords and get their buy-in so they understand the keywords that we would be targeting from a potential campaign. Because again, if you just look at this and see a lot of these keywords, you'll just notice a lot of fluff, right? And we don't want to have fluff when we're doing this. So you kind of get the picture here, right? So what you can do then is just go to bulk apply and we're going to exclude all these keywords. And now what you'll notice is that this number went down. So what we want to do is we want to go through and really manipulate these keywords because I actually show this to them during the sales process and I'll show them these keywords and say, this is a good keyword, this is a good keyword, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? And I get buy-in from them so that this number now makes sense to them. So once you've gone through and you've really focused on these keywords, again, sometimes what I'll do is I'll just type in like the main keyword, something like disability or anything Toronto based or anything local based. And I'll make sure that these keywords are now included in here. So again, these probably not but maybe we want to do something like this say okay this is a good keyword we want to target it and now i can just go through and one by one assign these and it will continue to update these numbers here so once you go through and really clean these keywords and you can always go back then you're just going to click this button here just go to traffic projection summary so what we now have are these three different scenarios and it's applied based on percentage and this makes it easier now to take multiplications of their exact traffic right so we're saying if you did 100,000 visits last year times that by 0.8, this is probably what we end up next year, right? So you can easily take these uh, these percentages and apply it to their traffic to get actual more concrete traffic numbers. But each of these you can click into, which I'm gonna show you in a second. We've also got some other charts down here that just show some head-to-head -head versus the other competitors. And then also the value of that traffic from paid search data really helps to drive home the quality and the value of the traffic that they could be getting from this. So if we click in each one of these now, what you'll see is a very targeted traffic and chart. Again, that shows them historical traffic, and then this is the projected growth rate of this. And what I also love about this is the ability to download these as images because you can put these directly into a proposal, which really allows you to anchor the value in the expected result of your service, which then allows you to charge more dynamically based on it. So you're not charging for services, you're charging on expected results. And this tool is really the only thing out there in the market that is built to help agencies, freelancers, consultants close more deals by showing them these very, very intuitive charts here that you can also manipulate to change these numbers here and change these projections based on the story and the narrative that you wanna tell. So again, I really just love these charts here because they're they're fun, they're great to show on calls, they're engaging. And again, you can also download all these. And then here's the final one here. This is the total growth potential. So you can see the green line here really showing them uh, in terms of traffic. And these numbers that you see in here, this is the difference in terms of last year versus this year, this year's in the expected growth. But this is really the number here too that I think most prospects like to see as a percentage. They can wrap their heads around it because this is not exact traffic numbers, right? This is based on keyword data, click-through rate data, all sorts of different factors here. So it's not apples to apples if you compare this to their Google Analytics. But when you compare the percentages, this is where this becomes hyper accurate because you can take this number and apply it to their exact traffic numbers to build out concrete numbers that they can actually expect. And then you just times that by conversion rates and you've got an actual ROI projection that you can showcase to a prospect to show them the true impact of your services. So that's it. This tool is super simple, super to the point. It's exactly what you need as an SEO agency, freelancer, consultant to close more deals because it really allows you to anchor the expected result against your price. And when you're doing that, when you're showing them you're going to make this much by paying us this much, they can clearly say ROI. And it's a total different conversation than saying, hey, SEO is going to cost you 5000 and 
it depends on what type of traffic and results you're going to get. If you want to close more deals, if you want to grow your agency, this is the tool that's missing in your sales process to help you do that. So all you got to do is head over to trafficprojection.com to get started and enjoy the additional cash flow. Thank mm -hmm. you.